Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. The engine is a crucial component of any aircraft, producing a push that aids in the identification of the aircraft's capability. India just received approval to produce it domestically and is also exposed to newer, more advanced technology related to it. The chief executive of HAL presented a bold strategy to export F-414 engines that are made in India to foreign countries. GE and HAL have devised a coordinated development strategy for their forthcoming aircraft, including the Tejas Mark II. HAL chief has made bold plans for the production that will soon take place. There will be more engine boosts. HAL will manufacture this engine for use in upcoming aircraft, including the AMCA, the twin-engine deck-based fighter, and the Tejas Mkai program. It now has the highest priority when it comes to use in these aircraft, and doing so will increase its capacity and increase the aircraft's power. This place manufactures engines, therefore long-term operation. And hassle-free parts and component availability are also essential. HAL will oversee the engine's development. It had previously attempted to create the Kaveri engine, which was deemed an unsuccessful attempt to produce engines for India and was still unfit for any fighter plane. Thanks to the GE collaboration, HAL will now be able to learn about engine manufacture, cutting-edge technology, and testing methodology. That will aid in the development of new engines in the future and be beneficial for aviation training. Aircraft components will be readily available as a result of the engine's production. And it has the potential to serve as a supplier of parts for other nations. Additionally, it reduces a great deal of downtime and fixes the aircraft as quickly as possible to enable battle. Phases of Research and Development India will receive new engine testing facilities which will also enable other nations to work with them to create engines. Since these engines are extremely rare, the increased insights will undoubtedly benefit them. It is anticipated that the TOT agreement will transmit 80% of HAL's technology, allowing them to manufacture these advanced engines. The export of F-414 engines by HAL is in line with an increasing global trend. Local licensee agreements for the F-414 engines have already been arranged in a number of nations, including South Korea and Sweden. These engines' versatility and desirability in the worldwide defense sector are demonstrated by the range of aircraft they are used on, including the Boeing FA-18EF Super Hornet, KF-21 Boromi, and Saab Jaws 39EF Gripen. HAL intends to export F-414 engines produced domestically. HAL is now negotiating a contract with American GE engines for 99 engines that will be produced in India in order to accomplish this target. The export of Made in India F-414 engines presents both challenges and opportunities for HAL. The company will need to meet stringent international standards and build a robust supply chain to compete in the global market. However, this endeavor holds the potential to enhance India's standing in the aerospace and defense industry and boost its economic growth. <laughs>